Okay, this is my new custom IDW Donny, and I'm gonna show you how I made him. So first, I take his belt off, and it was loose enough that I could take it off. Yeah, it was only a little bit of glue on the front, and once I pried that, I could just pull it off. Now I have some epoxy sculpt that I'd already mixed together, the two parts, and I thinned it out by like rolling a pin over it while it's folded in some uh, parchment paper, and I'm just cutting out little pieces and putting them on the place that I want to put them. So I start with the chin of one and then I go to the chin of the other and then a little bit at a time I'll do the nose area and I'm using the like black and white version of the um, well the gray version of the IDW turtles by best action and they're already pretty dope but I'm gonna put his belt that he or belt buckle that he has in some of the comics and that's the top of uh, like oat milk or almond milk or whatever curtain that you pull out and the, it's a good um, mold for a circle and then this is from an egg like the carton of eggs and uh, it's got a different design and I had some extra so I use that for later but I'm using these uh, black and white or gray versions because they're easier to paint I don't have to go against the color they already are and then adding stuff and then try to match the color or paint the whole thing white and anyway I did this twice already with um, Leo and Mikey but now I'm sanding the places where I add it just to blend them in better and they were a little bigger than I wanted them like his parts of his face and that's a nail file and I cut it on an angle down the middle so I can get in the grooves and stuff easier then I have a little vacuum I use to uh, vacuum up the dust and so that's the belt buckle and that's the design on the belt buckle but first I'm going in his eyes and that's a white acrylic primer because I don't want him to have pupils and his pupils are weird they're like yellow and red and they're no pupils it's just irises so yeah weird pupils no pupils so he has this uh, like anti-gravity gauntlet or glove and they didn't have as much detail as I wanted so I have a two millimeter foam and I cut it to shape and then I just draw some designs with pencil and then um, I did some circles with a skewer and then over the pencil lines I just use an exacto knife to um, get a little deeper and then I trim it a little more and I hit it with a little bit of fire just to warm it up and seal up the foam and make the lines I made pop out more then I glue it down with just super glue to the glove and that's gonna be my base because he's got a little more to the glove there are some comics I saw where April has the glove and is basic but I think he got it and he did some upgrades and so it's got some stuff on the top now I'm covering everything with a matte acrylic varnish and that's gonna work as my primer before I get started with the different colors of paint and make everything um, colored but yeah I just have to cover everything so that was one of the uh, pictures I was going off for is gloves or glove and I have just a bunch of little stuff in a cup and these are sequins that I painted black and they're um, they were green before and there's a little piece of you know like a pull tie like a cable tie yeah that's it there's a little piece off that and it has a bunch of lines on it then I put a circle of two millimeter foam and then I made like a indent in that because that's gonna be another light source in the glove now I have a uh, cinnamon brown and I'm just painting all the spots that are gonna be brown and giving a light coat on his shell or all the his plastron and the sides of his shell and uh, gonna get a lot more in the cracks to make them darker because I'm gonna go with a lighter color after and I'm getting his pads also started with the cinnamon brown and I make sure I get the joints first before I bend anything or I try not to bend them after I get the paint on until after I've sealed everything but um, I get all his pads and then I go again in the cracks to make those darker and he's got a lot of different cracks on him but I don't really want to emphasize the ones in the middle just the one well the one in the middle but not the lines and stuff he has all over yeah so this is a raw sienna and I'm just lightly going over his uh, plastron and undershoot and side shell and um, not the back of the shell because the back of his shell his shell is metal so I'm not gonna give it the same uh, color treatment 
but now I'm just dry brushing some daffodil yellow and that's going to pick up the edges and uh, make everything pop out more so I am going to go on the back of the shell just to add a little bit of light color on the edges and a little bit of shine like the lights hitting it so it's got a little bit of yellow in there I'll add some more later and I'm dry brushing I dry brushed the uh, cinnamon brown and now I'm dry brushing the daffodil yellow on all his wraps so I do all the hands and do all six hands that he came with the two extra ones I put a little bit on his bow staff because it's black and I want to pick up some of the edges so you can see them better but it's so small you can't really see it now in person you can see it a little so some of that brown I had added some water to to do a brown wash and I just cover the glove with that I'm gonna paint uh, the top silver but I want to just had the brown out so I was like why not give it a go and now I'm painting the top of well the part that I added silver and um, then dry brush a little everywhere else to make it blend together and I also went on the belt buckle with the silver this is gold so it's got one of the lenses pops out and it's black but I wanted to paint it gold because in some of the comics that's gold he's got some gold on there now I'm going again dry brushing the raw sienna and picking up any spots that I missed on like the top part now I have a bark brown it's a satin bark brown and I'm using that on all the pads and his belt and the little pouches that I made out of the epoxy sculpt after the camera stopped rolling and they're so small to just it's all my fingers you see enough of my hands and um, do a coat of white now on the belt buckle I need coffee dry brush white on the back of his shell and I go again in the eye with white with just regular white now and I'm doing because uh, blue is all right and a lot of the comics it's blue but I wanted to go with a brighter color for that so I go in with white first just to get it started and I have a uh, hunter green that I'm using just in all the cracks and the darker spots or all the spots that I want to be a little darker doing like an underpainting of the shadows and uh, traces and lines just make everything pop out more when I go with the main color on top and I'm going in all under his arm and all the joints and stuff but yeah just getting all the cracks to make all the details pop out more and his toes and his fingers well just his uh, tips of his fingers and that this is a grass green that I'm using for his main color and I'm just covering everything but go a little dry brushing over the dark spots that I had added with the hunter green so you still see a little the darker green through the uh, grass green on top and I'm wearing all green this is my Donnie as a Hulk uh, yeah I made this shirt but um now his after I painted I could see there was still some cracks in the uh, where I added the epoxy sculpt so I'm filling that in with spackling and it's uh, just thin like plaster type uh, material and it dries in 15 minutes and then you can sand it and add more paint I did another coat of silver on the uh, part of the gun that or glove that I added and I'm using a toothpick to get all the little details on the glove or and his belt yeah the toothpick was on the belt the, all the little buckles that are silver and then I painted yellow the um, uh, parts on his glove that shoot energy I guess and uh, just because in some of the reference I saw that had yellow and I thought that popped out more but now I'm just uh, sanding the uh, spackling I go back in with the um, grass green just to uh, touch up all those spots that I just sanded and fixed so now it doesn't have the cracks that it had and uh, slide his belt back on and glue down a couple of the extra bags that I made and then to add some more details to the glove those were just parts of the two millimeter foam I cut off but they look like wires or thick wires going through parts of his glove and um, what's now oh the um, now I'm covering everything again with a clear coat to seal everything up so it won't get scratched or um, pretty much just scratched I guess now I'm doing the belt buckle so I just traced it well, I drew it on with the uh, pencil and now I have a fine liner sharpie then I'm tracing out all the details it's a little tough because it's like curved but I get it slowly it took a lot longer than you see there and I go to glue it down I tested it, it seemed dry but I let that dry for like 
uh, four or five hours, but it takes a long time for the ink to dry. So then I tried to erase a little bit of pencil and I smudged it and so I painted over it with white. I should have waited at least a day or just not even tried to touch it, but you learn. I mean, I already knew, but I did it anyway. So that's the regular best action Donnie and that's the one that I customized. And uh, the one on the far right there is the battle ready. And that's the other head. Next time, well, Raph, I'll do both heads, but from now on, I'm only gonna sculpt one head because I hate taking heads on and off. And I never do it after, like, the one I, I pick one that I like. But uh, thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, remember, always keep your head up. Peace.